Hi everyone. Today we're going to be talking about matrix multiplication. Um, so to get started, let's think about the fact that matrices are not numbers. They're different entities entirely. And so operations on matrices don't necessarily look like operations on numbers. Um, okay, so to multiply matrix A by matrix B, you have to first determine whether or not that operation is possible. And the way you do that is you have to check that the number of columns of A are equal to the number of rows of B. So for example, suppose you have matrix A and the dimensions of matrix A are three by two, and then you've got matrix B and the dimensions are two by four. If these inside numbers here are equal to each other, two and two, then it's possible to multiply the matrices. And then the resulting matrix will be a three by four. Those are given by the dimensions. Um, those are given by the outside numbers. Those are the dimensions of the new matrix. All right, so how do we multiply matrices? To multiply a matrix or two matrices, first you construct a skeleton of what the product matrix is going to look like. Then we start populating that product matrix. So for example, if I'm going to generate the term in that spot, okay, in the product matrix, that's row one, column one, right? then I go to my product matrices and I take row one with column one and those are the elements that together populate or generate that first term. All right. Okay. Um, why don't we take a couple of examples here? So let's do this first one. Um, it says to find A, B, and B, A if possible. The first thing you want to do is see if it is, in fact, possible. Well, A is a 2 by 3. B is a 3 by 2. These two numbers are the same, so yes, I can multiply them. And the resulting matrix is going to be a 2 by 2. All right? Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to multiply A... times B okay and the result is going to be a 2 by 2 so I'm going to make myself a 2 by 2 matrix a larger 2 by 2 matrix and you see here you know we've got um, our spots that now need to be populated all right so first I go to populate or to generate the answer to that first space. Now, this, like we said, is row one, column one, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my matrices and I'm going to take row one, column one. Always has to be in that order, row first, then column, row one, column one. And now, what do you see? In row one, in this highlighted row one, there are three elements. In the highlighted column one, there are three elements as well. That is not a coincidence. That's a direct consequence of the fact that the rows and columns of A and B had to be equal. Okay, so now, since there are three terms in each, what I do is the following. I take the first number in here and the first number in here, negative 2 times 2, and I multiply them, plus the first num the second number and the second number that's 0 plus the third number and the third number 3 times 9 okay next <clears throat> i'm going to go to the next matrix uh the next spot in my matrix and what is that the next spot is this one. Okay, what is this? This is row one, 
column two. So what do I take? Row one, column two. Again, the first terms in here are negative two times zero plus zero times two plus three times three. Okay, let's take another one. Next one. Next one is what? Here. And this is now row two, column one, right? That one is row two, column one. I lost some elements here. All right, so I take the first number in the highlighted part with the first number in the highlighted part. So five times two, let me color code here, plus negative seven times negative one, plus one times nine. Okay, last but not least, what do I have here? Row two, column two. So now I take row two with column two. All right, so first, Number with first number, five times zero, negative seven times two, plus one times three, okay? So once you take the numbers, you're gonna add their products. Last but not least, all you have to do is now simplify that matrix. So AB is equal to, when you add up the reds, we get 23, the green, 9, 26, negative 11. And that is my matrix AB. Okay? All right. Let's do another one. Um, so we found AB. Next, I need to find BA. So now, let's find BA. To do BA, right, what are the dimensions of B? 3 by 2. And A is 2 by 3. Are the inside numbers the same? They are. That means we can multiply this, and the product is going to be a 3 by 3. So look at that. Look at what we're doing. We're now multiplying the same matrices in different order. It's like doing 3 times 5 and 5 times 3. We know that with numbers, they're commutative um, under multiplication, but it doesn't look like matrices follow the same rules. Well, let's just see exactly what that looks like. The reverse now, right, BA is now going to be a three by three matrix. So let's get ourselves a three by three matrix. Okay, and again, how is this going to look? So first, right, first here I have row one, column one. So I take row one, column one. Now do you see that in each of the highlighted parts I have two elements, right? They are, they have to be equal so you can match them up. All right, so let's do that first one. Two times negative two, right? And then the second number with the second number plus zero times five. Next, here I'm gonna get row one, column two. So now it's row one, column two, okay? So I take First number with first number, 2 times 0. Now the second one's 0 times negative 7. You gotta love those zeros. Lastly, I have row 1, column 3. Right? So I'm gonna take row 1 with column 3. Okay, first number with first number, 2 times 3, plus second number with second number, 3 times 1. Okay, let's move on now. Second row. We're going to do the second row. What field do I need to populate next? This one. This is row two, column one. So in my matrix, I'm going to go to row two, column one. Well, let's see. The first number, negative one, with the second number, negative two, plus two times five. Okay, 
All right, let's speed things up a little bit. I'm going to do the multiplications mentally now. The next one, right, I have, what do I have? Row 2, column 2, this one. All right, and this was a 5. Okay, so row 2, column 2, the first number is negative 1 times 0 gives me a 0, plus 2 times negative 7, negative 14. Next, I now have row 2, column 3. Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. Plus 2 times 1 is 2. Okay, last row. Let's reset. Last row, we get row 1, column 1. The first numbers in each one gives me negative 18, plus multiplying the second numbers gives me 15. Row 1, column 2, 9 times 0 is 0, plus 3 times negative 7. And then last ones, 9, 3, 3, and 1, right? So 9 times 3 is 27, okay? That's this 9, this 3, and then this 3, and this 1. Okay, finally, my BA matrix is negative 4, 0, 6, 12, negative 14, negative 1, negative 3, 21, 3, 0. Uh, I'm sorry, 30. That is matrix BA, right? Clearly, A, B, and B, A look nothing alike, all right? It's just like... If 3 times 5 was 15 and 5 times 3 was, I don't know, negative 3, right? That's, that's how it is. One um, order has nothing to do with the other. Okay, let's do a couple more. And if you forget, right, I've got the steps here. So if you want to take, let's say, A times B, right? And if you want to take C11, row 1, column 1, you take row A1 and column B1 and add the product and so on. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Again, I need to find AB and I need to do BA. So to do AB, always write down the matrices, um, especially when you're doing the reverse order because it's very easy to just get turned around. Okay, AB. The dimensions of A are 1 by 3, and this is a 3 by 1. Okay, they're the same. So what am I going to get as my resulting matrix? A one by one, just a one by one. I get one element in here, right? So here the one element is row one, column one. So I take row one with column one. And just like we were doing before, I take the first with the first, negative eight, plus the second with the second, negative 6, plus the third with the third, 15. And this gives me a 1. And that's all I have in there is just a 1. Okay? All right, next, let's do BA. BA gives me 4, negative 6, 5 negative 2, 1, 3. Okay, let's see. What are the dimensions here? Here I have a 3 by 1 and a 1 by 3. Right, those are the same. The result will be a 3 by 3. Oh my gosh, how do you even get a 3 by 3 from that? Well, take a look. Okay, so the first element, right, is row 1, column 1. Now do you see in each one, in each row and in each column, you just have one element, respectively. So for row one, column one, that's going to be four times negative two. Okay, moving on. The next one, that's row one, column two, four times one, four. Next, row one, column three, 12. Okay, let's move on to the second row. Now I have... In the second row, row 2, column 1, positive 12. 
row 2, column 2, negative 6, row 2, column 3, negative 18. Okay, let's go to the third row. I'm going to get here, in this spot, row 3, column 1, negative 10. Row 3, column 2, 5. Row 3 with column 3, 15. Okay. All right. Um, and so let's just recap, right? Let's talk about um, some properties. Um, the associative property of matrix multiplication. So we know that when we're dealing with numbers, right? A times B times C. We can do A times B then C. Or you can do A times B times C like this. That also works in matrices. Um, scalar multiplication, right? If you have a number times matrix AB, you could multiply the scalar first then the matrices and so on. Distributive property works. Okay, so look at this one. If you have a matrix C times A plus B, you can do CA plus CB, right? But the reverse will not work, right? You, you can't do, for example, A plus B and then put the C behind it, okay? Those aren't the same. So if the C is behind it, then look, the order has to be different. It has to be A times C, not CA plus B times C. So just remember that, you know, um, the order in which you're multiplying um, does matter. Okay, last but not least, remember how we talked about the identity matrix and I said it's kind of a big deal when we get down, down the road? Well, here it is. The identity matrix, it's usually um, given the symbol I. It's the um, analogous matrix to what the number one is to numbers. So for example, what does the number one do? Well, the number one is special because whatever you multiply by one, you get the same thing back, right? Well, the identity matrix I is the same thing as the number one. Whatever matrix you multiply by the identity matrix, you get that same matrix back. Okay? All right. We're going to stop here today, um, and we're going to practice matrix multiplication. After that, we'll move on to inverses and determinants. Thank you.